If you've got a bathroom sink that drains slow and you're wondering what to do about it, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix that. All we got to do is clean the pipes underneath. You might not know how, but I'm going to show you. First, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's go change and get this done. Come on. A slow or smelly drain can really be annoying, but if you know a little bit, cleaning the drain isn't that hard to do. Things like hair can get hung up on the, the plug in the sink. You've got cosmetics, soap, toothpaste, shaving cream. All of that stuff can be sitting in the drain and cause an odor or, like I said, cause the drain to drain slower. The solution is under the sink. I'm going to show you how to clean the drain. A bathroom sink is a pretty basic sink. You've got the drain coming from the sink, it goes to a P-trap, and then ties into the main drain system of your home. If you're smelling an odor, chances are you've got buildup between the drain and the P-trap, because the P-trap actually holds water and forms a barrier to keep sewer gases from coming back up into the bathroom. Pay attention to how the drain is put together because it has to be put back together the same way in order for it to work properly. It's a good idea to take a picture so that you can remind yourself what goes where if you happen to forget. These connection points should just be hand tight, but if they're not, you may need a wrench to break it free. So when you take this down, you'll probably see hair and sludge already build up. Where the lever connects into the drain, hair and things build up around it really easily. Now this stopper isn't too bad. Sometimes they've got a lot of buildup on them. If you see a bunch of stuff in this pipe, you might want to take a paper towel and clean that out. If you can see that there's a large amount of buildup on the pipe, instead of sending that sludge down your kitchen drain, take a paper towel, clean out the drain like a pipe cleaner first. That'll get most of it off, and then we'll clean these in the sink. You remove most of the chunks with the paper towels. We're just getting the smaller pieces to get it as clean as possible. Now, we just need to put everything back together. Start with this piece, tighten it up, make sure the stopper hole is lined up on the back. Stick this arm in and make sure it connects with the bottom of the stopper. Tighten down the nut on the back then we need to figure out what goes where. Dry fit everything together first before you tighten everything down, just in case you need to move things around. Okay, once you have it loose fit together, then go back and tighten all your connections. Next, you want to fill the sink, and once the sink is full, we'll pull the stopper and look for leaks. Feel around the joints, watch for puddles on the ground, watch for drips on the ground. If you don't have any leaks, you're good. You can see just from the cleaning that we did, the drain's going much faster than it was. If you take this step and you put it all back together and you still have a slow drain, you may need to call a plumber or a drain technician out to your home because the problem might be further down the drain that you can't reach, but usually this will get the problem solved and get the pipes flowing again. If you've liked this video, do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed and turn on notifications so that you get notified next time a new video comes out. Drop me a comment below. Let us know what videos you want us to make about your electrical, plumbing, heating and air conditioning system so that we can get those done for you. Thanks again so much for watching. Till next time, see ya.